on this mission, there are no explosives in that car! Pull more. Pull down. There's no explosives. Right now on your news channel live at 6, a man is accused of throwing an explosive device into the Santa Maria courthouse. The blast hurt six people. Law enforcement caught and dragged the suspect near the parking lot moments after the explosion. Good evening, I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with breaking news. The bomb exploded about 9 o'clock this morning at the Santa Maria Courthouse on Cook Street, sending six people to the hospital. We have team coverage from Santa Maria with the very latest. News Channel reporter Dave Alley has witness video and reaction from the man who shot that video. And Tracy Lair is outside the suspect's apartment, which police have taped off. But first, Christina Rodriguez has new information from this afternoon's press conference. Christina, what is the update? Hey there, Bev and CJ. That's right. Just over an hour ago, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department held a press conference telling us that 20 year old Nathaniel McGuire from Santa Maria was arrested for the bomb explosion here at the Santa Maria Superior Courthouse. Sheriffs say McGuire was immediately stopped by security and arrested outside of the courthouse. The incident is being investigated by the FBI. McGuire was on calendar today for gunfire charges and was initially arrested back in July. Six people were injured and treated at Marion Regional Medical Center. Sheriffs did confirm victims were discharged with non-life threatening injuries. Everyone was evacuated from the courthouse by 940 this morning. The courthouse will be closed tomorrow and rescheduled over 100 missed cases. One witness told us his experience from inside. The uh, individual just came in the door uh, threw a backpack into the uh, courthouse and then it exploded right next to one of the individuals that was in there. The FBI has opened an investigation in collaboration with the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Office and the United States Attorney's Office. What we know at this point is this incident is not tied to transnational terrorism and the suspect has no known ties to terrorist groups. But Cleland Streets is now open, but the courthouse will remain closed tomorrow. The bomb squad will continue their investigation and verify if the suspect worked alone. For now, reporting live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez. Beth, CJ, back to you. All right, thank you, Christina. And News Channel reporter Dave Alley joins us live. He's near the courthouse. Dave, you spoke with the man who heard the explosion, then recorded the suspect being taken down. I did, CJ, and I do want to report that we are now just outside the Santa Maria Courthouse here, right along Miller Street, which did open up just uh, within the past hour, right outside the main entrance. We see, do see uh, sheriff personnel, crime scene investigators still here in uh, in the parking lot area, uh, indicating this does very much remain an active uh, crime scene as the investigation continue, uh, continues uh, now well past 6 o'clock. And uh, as mentioned, I did speak with an eyewitness uh, here today just, uh, just uh, hours after this all unfolded. Uh, Earlier today, that eyewitness was here at the courthouse this morning. Uh, he was here when the explosion happened. When that took place, he grabbed his cell phone, which many, many people do. Uh, then he started documenting uh, the chaotic moments that soon followed. Pull more. Pull it down. Alarms ring out as a man is dragged by law enforcement moments after an explosion rocked the Santa Maria courthouse Wednesday morning. It's scary, man. Like you don't, you don't, you don't see this. <laughs> it's, it's something scary. Yeah. Adrian Arredondo of Santa Maria was at the courthouse when it all unfolded in building two at around 8.30 a.m. We all heard that explosion, so we all like uh, wondering, well, what's going on? But then we see all, all the smoke come out and they started to evacuate people. Which Arredondo says quickly turned into a chaotic scene. Everybody was panicked, but everybody was running or didn't even know where to go or where to run. Arredondo pulled out his cell phone and started shooting what took place during the frantic aftermath. Within seconds, he says he saw a man running into the parking lot. He opened the, the, his car door and then they grabbed him and pulled him out. Before he knew it, the man was on the ground being pulled right in front of him. As he was, Arredondo says he saw what appeared to be ammunition on his body. He had a lot of it. Once you see him dragging out on the video, Man, you could see all the bullets coming out, man. Well, who knows what this guy was wanted to do. Other law enforcement on the courthouse property soon swarmed in, taking the man into custody. Luckily, they 
they grabbed them right away. Like, I mean, we we are at the courthouse, <laughs> so a lot of lot of law enforcement in there. They did their job. They did a good job. And as we hear, Hernando uh, is praising law enforcement for their efforts today, saying they were very quick uh, to find this individual uh, and take him into custody. Uh, and he praises them uh, for what they did uh, and fears that uh, had they not been acting so quickly, something uh, a little bit more serious uh, may have transpired here earlier today. That's the latest from here reporting live in Santa Maria. I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley. Incredible video. Thank you for that, Dave. And News Channel reporter Tracy Lair is outside the suspect's apartment that was evacuated earlier today. Tracy, what do you know about this? Beth, there are about a dozen FBI officers and they've been looking at the apartment behind me. This is on Henry Avenue near Bradley Drive and very close to a Walmart shopping center. Uh, they've been investigating uh, an apartment behind a red door, a fairly a nice apartment complex. It looks like a family area. This is where they believe the 20 year old lived. They have it all cordoned off, so we haven't seen any neighbors. But in the next block, we have seen uh, some children playing and people walking their dogs. Again, the FBI is out here. They have a half a dozen cars and they have the whole area taped off with police line do not cross tape. Um, there are not certain if they are going to be charging any federal charges in this case. But right now he has been detained and questioned and taken into custody. Again, he's a 20 year old. He was facing a weapons charge from a July arrest and was due in court this morning. Never even went past security when all of this began. And we will attempt to try to reach out to some neighbors and find out more information. And as it becomes available, we'll bring it to you. Reporting live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.